year since I last did a video of my collection and uh, many cups of tea have been drunken since then and the collection has grown quite a bit since then and we've changed location twice. I couldn't film uh, before this due to this, that and the other but we've finally got moved in and settled and the Geek Lab is finally set up uh, so it's time to show you the new lab and the collection as it is now, a little bit larger than it was last time. So let's send the Vortex for a bit of a, a manicure and makeover. Off she goes. And let's have a look at the new lab and the latest collection. Right, so here we are outside the Geek Club. Just about to walk in and uh, have a look. It looks a mess from this angle, but it doesn't actually. It just looks a mess on camera to me, but it isn't. So, here we go. Have a quick look around, first of all. Uh, there's all the games. Right around to the other side. It's a very small space, so having to fit in. Having to cram it in. So. Let's quick look around. So what I'm going to do is start with the computers all down here and then we'll work our way around to the games eventually. So, in time old tradition, starting at the beginning, here we have my Commodore VIC-20 uh, which was donated to me by uh, Mark UK Retro Games. Thank you all very much Mark. And on top of that is my only uh, cartridge for the Vic for golf. Good game. Behind that, with its uh, name covered up, is a Commodore 16. Sitting on top of that, due to a lack of space, is, you can see there, a Sinclair 128K ZX Spectrum Plus 2. This came in the James Bond pack, so there's its gun on top. Uh, next to the Vic, we have a Commodore 64C, the first retro computer I ever bought. Well, my wife bought that back in 2002, I think, before we even got married. Not nice. Another donation from Mark, UK Retro Games, is the Atari 800XL, sitting back there from about 1982. On top of that, to the right, is a ZX81. On top of that, is a Commodore 64 modem which we are going to be using to actually get the 64 surfing on the net hopefully. To the right of that is a Commodore, well Commodore business machine calculator from the mid 70s. Straight ahead there is a Sinclair 48k and on top of that is a PlayStation 2 gun. Uh, that's my Thomas pillow. A donation from my three-year-old niece. Yeah. Right, next we have an Amiga 600, which was found for £20 when I went to car boot sailing with Marcus. Behind that is a, an Amiga 1200. Above that, sitting on top of it, is an Amstrad Notepad computer, NC100, designed by Alan Sugar himself. On top of that is another one. One of these doesn't work, one does. <clears throat> I'm not sure which one it doesn't work because they've both got flat batteries. So there we go. Right. Oh, on top of the Amiga is a Street Fighter 2 keyring, which my wife won on Twitter. Hey, <laughs> why does she always win this stuff? I don't. Anyway. Next to the Amiga, we have a, a Game Gear from Sega, an Atari Lynx 2, mm, nice Atari Lynx 2. Behind that, we have the Master System 2, and above that, hidden below there, is a Game King which I recently reviewed, on top of which is stacked all of its games and the no twitch mark for here who donated the system to me sent me right down here we have an original uh, mega drive from sega on top of that another donation from a gentleman in liverpool a 32x behind that a mega drive 2 
Saturn. Hmm. Don't need to say anymore. Dreamcast. Hmm. Don't need to say any more than that. And Dr. Atami's uh, Deluxe Brain Games. Found for a pound. Quite good. Actually, touch screen. Pound. Great. Right. In the corner here, we have uh, the Air Force Eye Combat headset game thing sitting on top of my decommissioned Air Force bomb. Don't worry, it's got no engine, no navigation system, and no, <coughs> oh, no explosives, excuse me. So, it's not going to go off anytime soon. Right, on the shelf below here, we have in the back there, Xbox Crystal, beneath it is an original Xbox, at uh, the front here, and in television. PlayStation 2. A PS1 with a rare third party, party screen. Behind that is a Namco plug and play. A rather embarrassing uh, pink Game Boy Advance and an original PlayStation. Next, in the dark there, is an Atari 7800 on top of its box with the Bandai Electronics Gunfighter sitting on top. Beneath that is an Atari 2600 Long Rainbow. Again in the dark there, if you can make it out, is a Romtech Alien Invaders. Two GameCubes, from Nintendo obviously. A Nintendo 64. My old Arcos is there in the dark. Mr. Eagle Piggle is there in the dark. A SNES, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. A Nintendo, an original NES, hiding behind here. Probably can't see it too well in the dark. Is an Astronic MPU 1000 with Mario sitting on his head. And a retro uh, laptop bag at the back there. Right, beneath that lot. We have a box full of uh, controllers and stuff. Power bricks from Commodore mainly, and an Atari one stacked nicely. Look at that, I got them stacked. All the cables <coughs> to them are at the back, hidden by behind an Atari. Uh, on the floor here, we've got an Atari 2600, uh, different cassette decks, including the Atari one, uh, a generic one. That's an Amiga external floppy drive, that's a Commodore 16 tape drive, that's a Man Flu rescue kit, and some Amiga games over here. More, <coughs> excuse me, Commodore and Amiga games, uh, boxes, uh, port the PlayStation 2 sc portable screen, and some PlayStation games in the corner there. Going over to, <coughs> to the front of the lab, we have the TV, which is a CRT, so that you can use the uh, light guns with it. On top of which sits a quick shot joystick, a rock lord, a, a Nintendo Classic Mini. There will be another one of them on the other side, but I haven't opened it yet to do the review. Astro Wars. A rock lord, another rock lord. Behind there is a big joystick, and there's a lamp, another joystick, another joystick, and in the middle here are some very young Geek Lab chili plants. Oh, yeah, just growing them. Above all this is Sonic sitting on my mirror ball. Okay, going beneath the telly. We have a BBC Master 128K, some of its manuals down the front there. The 5.5 inch twin floppy drive from the Master. In the dark there is an Atari 2600, uh, that's the Vader model, some controllers and stuff around there. In the middle here is an Lacorn Electron, again uh, donated by Mark, that's UK Retro Games. There's a, uh, my sole VIC-20 game sitting there, VIC-20 tape game, and my Archimedes games is in that box. Talking the icon Archimedes, there she is, 
with the three button mouse and there's the monitor over here is the monitor to the BBC got some cups on the top there and a binary clock which I haven't got the power source to at the moment so I can't show you that and power decks and stuff behind there, providing us power. A MIDI keyboard, which I can never get to sync right. The top here, we've got manuals, training courses, and a almost complete collection of Atari user, mag user magazines. Front of that, a Geiger counter from when I did a physics course once. A uh, chest set, electronic Kasparov chest set. There is the cubes with the little characters that move in between them. I've reviewed that, I have a video on that. In front of that is my miniature arcade machine. And Pac-Man wind up clocky things. And the state of the art grandstand talking computer. Hmm. Two DS's. And various little gadgets and a Game Boy Pocket. There's a complete user guide for the BBC Micro Master Micro Computer. That's a, a modern version from uh, Retro Computer Clinic, I think the name is. Over here we have the ZX Spectrum 16K RAM expansion. Various chargers, battery chargers and stuff like that. Right over here is the green screen where the Vortex usually lives. Just gonna have to shut the door there. Right. Yes, that's the green screen where the Vortex usually lives. Uh, various boxes on top. Game Gear box. Scion Revo box. It's in there at the moment. Uh, the Commodore 64's modems box. Uh, the Atari tape decks box. Two tape decks for the Commodore units. Uh, one of them is actually in there. Sinclair ZX Spectrum's box. A USB card box is just sitting there for some reason. Uh, the 48K Sinclair Spectrum box, there's one in there as well. My Atari 2600 box. Behind this uh, dot matrix printer, which still works and gets used now and again. Behind there is the Amiga 1200 box, guarded by Monkey. Monkey! Respect the Monkey! Uh, behind my, uh, at the moment, dead laptop is a Sinclair ZX Spectrum uh, that's the action pack James Bond thing that I was on about earlier a Wii Fit board, it's all in there and my tripod which gets stored in that corner okay, so we're going to go around to the games bit now but before we do that Ripness the Tower of Geek Yes, this is my tower, recently constructed. Uh, as you can see, it has different things in different levels. So we've got in television games, television games, N64 games, Atari 2600 games, SNES games, and the rest are different consoles, you know, power adapters, cables, uh, controllers for different consoles as we go up into the stratosphere, ending with some 8-bit cables, specialist cables for different consoles. And some five and a half inch floppies and a snares cartridge on the top. Along the top shelf we have Saturn games, GameCube games, Xbox games, PlayStation games. Yes, uh, couldn't resist that when I saw it in B&Q, sorry. Uh, right, there are two levels, oops, two levels of uh, PlayStation games, DS games, oh, that sounds been a pain, Game Gear games, Mega Drive games, Master System games, loose cartridges, uh, Commodore 64 boxed games, well odd shaped games, BBC games, Master System games, uh, there's Game Boy Advance games hidden in the corner there, third level PlayStation 2 games, there's Commodore 16 and Spectrum games in there. The Commodore 64 pile is usually a lot larger, but most of them are in the car at the moment, as I've been using them at work. Uh, Atari stuff. A miniature pool thing. 
and television and Astronic stuff in the corner there and here I did myself every, what every 8-bit programmer needs a shed loads of blank tapes which I found in the shop recently so that's different so there we go if you look on my website there is a complete list of all my games so if you want to request one please have a look on there and you can uh, obviously put a request in to see that game ow and that was my tripod falling over so thank you very much that is the latest version of the geek lab and that's the floorboard creaking under my foot so there you go that's the tour uh, leave some comments tell me what you think and make any request you want of anything you want to see or any games you want to see everything's on the website as well and there's extra pictures on there so thank you very much